Hello, I'm Steve, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Peer Scholar, which is a, an application that your professor has chosen to use in your class. Peer Scholar is all about developing skills. Let's think about that for a moment. Wouldn't you love to play a bunch of different musical instruments, or be fantastic at two or three different martial arts, or maybe, you know, dance is your thing and you'd love to know six or seven different dance styles and, and be excellent at them. Why don't you do these things? Why can't you play five instruments and three martial arts you know, styles and five dance styles? Well, because skills are hard to learn. They take time and effort. Specifically, they require you to invest repeated structured practice. You have to use these skills over and over. And when you start, they tend to be not very good. But with repeated practice, they slowly get better, more fluent, more natural. So that's what we're hoping to do with Peer Scholar, but we're not going to teach you to play musical instruments or, well, we could actually. But really, the focus of Peer Scholar is on different skills, sometimes called the skills of success. So thinking skills like critical and creative thought that help you solve problems. Interaction skills like collaboration and communication that allow you to work effectively with others. And self-knowledge skills, knowing your own strengths and weaknesses, something we call metacognition. Uh, and that's very important to personal growth. Uh, and finally, in some cases, of course, you actually have to learn hands-on skills and Peer Scholar can help with that as well. Okay, so just like those other skills, these skills require repeated structured practice in order for them to develop and get stronger and get more natural. And that's what Peer Scholar is all about. So how does it work? Well, there's gonna be three phases. So the first phase, the create phase, is something pretty familiar to you probably. Your, your professor will assign you some task, ask you to create a composition, and yeah, you'll do that. You'll, you'll create that composition and submit it. But it's the next two phases that get interesting. Once you submit, you will return to the application and engage in first what we call the assess phase and then the reflect phase. And these are the phases where you will get that repeated structured practice. So in the assess phase, what you're going to see is, is some of the work that your peers presented, anonymously presented, randomly selected, and you're kind of going to be the teacher. You're going to be asked to give each of your peers some constructive feedback about how their work can be improved. Uh, and while you do, peer by peer, you are going to engage in critical thought, creative thought, and communication. Um, and you will do this in a repeated, structured way. Now, as you give all this feedback to peers, they will be doing the same thing to your work. So in the reflect phase, it's all about learning from the feedback you received. So once again, peer by peer, you will analyze their feedback, engaging once again, critical thought, creative thought. In this case, it's receptive communication, you know, learning to receive information, uh, but you will be working all of these skills. And so that overall, your experience will be one that's very rich and you'll ultimately get all this feedback, analyze it, and in many cases, you'll be allowed to use that feedback to improve your original submission before it's graded. Uh, and so that's good motivation to engage in all these skills. But of course, the other motivation is these are the skills of success. And so if you take this activity seriously and you really put work into giving good feedback and learning from the feedback, uh, you will be developing your own personal skill set that will help you succeed. I want to just give you a little sense. The details of how to work with Peer Scholar um, can change depending on the implementation. So depending on your learning management system, how you get into the Peer Scholar activity um, may be a little different and your professor will tell you how that works. But once you're in the activity, I just want to give you a few tips for successfully navigating. So this is an example actually of the assess step um, where you're assessing the work of your peers. I'll just use this as an example to highlight a few things. And the first one is in any one of these screens, you can see the activity instructions to the upper left. Uh, and so they will be open at first. When you first come to the phase, you will see those instructions by default, but anytime thereafter, you can remind yourself of the instructions simply by clicking uh, on that pane up in, the, up in the upper left corner. 
Now, as you're actually doing the activity, pay attention to this bar along the top. This is essentially your progress bar, and um, it shows you the steps that you need to do before you finally submit in the upper right. And basically, you're going to work your way left to right across these steps towards the submit button. Um, so for example, in this phase that I'm showing you, you would start with the peer one tab and you would assess that peer and then move on to peer two, peer three, peer four, peer five, etc. Now the specifics of the interface will change depending on how your professor has set things up, but that general notion of, of paying attention to that progress bar and going left to right um, is very important. And the other thing that I really want to highlight is you, you really want to submit your work when you're all done. So make sure you click that submit button before the due date um, and that will timestamp your, your work is done. Uh, so make sure you do that. Finally, if you have any questions along the way, um, if you run into any issues, see that little question mark in the lower right. Um, that will give you uh, access to um, various uh, knowledge base that can help you with any questions you have, but also it will give you an opportunity to um, connect directly with us. Should you encounter issues, we can help you solve those issues. Okay, so that's it. Um, this is the bigger Peer Scholar team, lest you think it's only one cartoon running the whole show. Uh, and I just want to end by saying, you know, we we're all are really happy that you guys are, are using Peer Scholar and we hope you enjoy the process, learn a lot from it, and we wish you nothing but success in your future.